Hi, I'm Laura Geitz, my good friends at Queensland Country Health Fund and I will be bringing you a prenatal exercise program. We can't wait for you to join us. Quick disclaimer guys, just remember before you embark on any exercise, it's always a great idea if you have any medical history to make sure you visit a GP and get a tick of approval before commencing any exercise. So I'm here with T who is an exercise physiologist and we are about to get started on a first trimester pregnancy program. Uh, just remember that everyone's pregnancy journey is really different so it's always good to keep in mind that you get that tick of approval from your doctor before you embark on any program and the best thing about this is that you can do this program completely at home. So as you can see all we've got is an exercise mat and that's it so minimal equipment required. Okay, Laura, so we're going to start on your back today. Yeah. So we're going to lay flat on your back and to set yourself up here, we'll focus on relaxing your shoulders away from your, your ears and we'll bring your heels all the way as close to your bottom as you possibly can. Now you're focusing on keeping your knees at least hip width distance and from here we're starting with our little spinal curl. So you're squeezing through your backside, we're going to tilt the pelvis back and then roll the spine all the way up to the roof and then coming back down, focusing on pressing the back down first and then the last thing to hit the character before should be your pelvis here. So lifting and then lowering back down from the upper part of the back, the last part to hit the floor should be your pelvis. So squeeze through the back side and roll through the spine all the way to the top and then coming back down. So from here, we're going to add in a little bit of a tempo. So as you roll up, we're going to roll up to the count of three, pause at the top for three, rolling back down on the count of three, two, one. Excellent. So squeeze through your backside, rolling up, three, two, one, pause at the top there, three, two, one, and then rolling back down. Excellent. So just a reminder here, making sure the knees stay apart. We're focusing on pressing through the outside of the heels. Little toes should be in contact with the floor and you're squeezing your bottom as tight as you can as you push up towards the ceiling. And then once you get to the top, we're pausing there for three seconds, two, one, rolling back down to the counter. Squeeze through your backside, roll the pelvis up, squeezing at the top, three, two, one, and rolling straight back down here. Excellent. We're going to go for another three here. Squeeze through the backside, rolling up, three, two, one, rolling back down. And really focusing on exhaling as you push the pelvis up here, inhaling as you're lowering back down. Now, from here, we're adding in a slight variation. So breath in, exhale, we're squeezing the bottom, lifting the pelvis to the top. We're pausing here, we're gonna lift your right leg off the floor, weight goes to the left, and we're rolling back down to the floor, controlling with that left leg. Both feet hit the floor again, knees apart, breath in, exhale to squeeze the bottom, lift the hips up towards the roof. Lifting that right leg up again and rolling back down to the floor, just oh. on that left. <laughs> Good, and again, big breath in. Exhale as you roll up, lifting that right leg up, and then rolling back down towards the floor here. Breath in here again. Exhale to squeeze, roll the pelvis up, pushing with both heels, lifting that right leg up again, and then rolling back down. Excellent, my like glute work. Yeah, good, <laughs> excellent. So that glute on the left hand side should be working quite hard to hold your pelvis nice and still when you're right at the top of that bridge and then you should feel everything relax once you come back down to the floor here. Excellent, so really important here to make sure that you take your deep breath in here and you're gently exhaling as you lift the pelvis up. We're gonna go for another two on this right hand side, so lifting the right leg up, rolling back down. Last one here, breath in, squeezing through the backside and lifting your hips up and rolling back down, excellent. Take a few oh. seconds here, give your legs a little bit of a shake out and yeah. we swap it over to the left hand side. So really focusing on that squeeze of your backside before you lift and then rolling the pelvis all over the top, focusing the pressure of the heels and lifting the left leg up, rolling back down to the floor. With both heels in the same position, knees apart here, squeezing through your backside, weight through the heel as you lift up, lifting the left leg up and controlling your descent back to the floor with that right leg. Excellent. So big tip here, make sure you're pressing or you're focusing on the outside of your heel in contact with the floor and that'll help keep your glutes engaged throughout the whole movement. It'll also help prevent your knees falling in towards each other here as well. 
is another important part for you to make sure that your glutes are taking most of the load. Excellent, we've got five to go. Exhale to lift, take that leg away and then you can inhale as you lower. Good, exhale, squeeze your bottom, lift with two legs, take that leg away and then rolling back down. We've got three to go here. Big breath in, exhale, lift, take that leg away, rolling back down. Last one here, lifting. Squeeze through your backside and rolling back down. Excellent. Oh Take a quick little breather here. Feel that in my hamstrings. Yep, absolutely. Oh. So most of the tension should be through the backs of your legs here. So a little bit through the calves maybe, mostly through the glutes and through the hamstring, to hamstrings. Definitely. We're going to finish on one more here on your back. Last one here on your back to really engage through your glutes here. Again, heels right back towards your backside. We're focusing on squeezing through your backside here. We're gonna lift your right leg up off the floor from the beginning. We're gonna push the pelvis up with the left heel and it's gonna lower halfway and then straight back up to the top. Again, really focus on pushing to the outside of that left heel. Your toes should stay down. We're lifting and lowering here, just that halfway pulse. We're going for another four. That's it, last three. Lift and squeeze at the top. Two, lift and squeeze. Last one. See if you can stay here at the top here, we'll, we'll swap legs over. So we'll go right leg back down the floor, we'll take that left one away, and we're finishing off with 10 pulses here again. Dropping the hips down, lift, drop, squeeze, and press the hips up. Drop, squeeze, and press the hips up. Excellent. Up, big tight squeeze through your glutes here, guys. Really think about squeezing as tight as you possibly can. Excellent, we've got four. Last three, just coming down halfway. Good, two, last one. And slowly rolling back down to the floor. Excellent, guys, oh, really good. Wow. Have a quick breather. If you need a drink of water, feel free to go grab a drink of water. That's solid. And <laughs> 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 your side. Yeah. So important setup points here is we're going to have your bottom arm lengthened out over your head here and your, your head can just rest on that shoulder there. Yeah. Now if you do have any neck um, pathologies or any neck pain here, feel free to pop a pillow underneath your, your neck there. Otherwise um, this position will keep your head propped up. Now we're focusing on stacking the shoulders, stacking the hips, your ankles will be on top of each other as well. So you're in a nice straight line. From here now, you can brace with your top arm here. So Laura's starting on her left side here. So her left arm will be on the floor to brace. We're focusing on squeezing the heels together and lifting both legs up as high as you possibly can here, Laura. So you're focusing. <laughs> I'll pop this hand down on the floor. Yeah, that's it there. So you can brace a little bit with that hand. And then you're focusing on lifting straight up. And we're focusing on bending between the hip and the rib. Okay, so you're bringing your hip up towards your rib here and you're focusing on that oblique muscle just above the hip bone. This See? does not look hard, but it <laughs> really is. It is a lot oh. harder than you think it'll be and your legs are quite heavy. Now we're focusing for roughly about 45 seconds of work here. So it'll be roughly about 10 to 12 repetitions. Exhaling as you lift those legs up, inhaling as you rest them back down. Now, another key point here is if you feel like you're rolling backwards here, try and tilt your top hip slightly down here. So Laura, if you just tilt forward yeah. slightly and your shoulder should follow with you. We'll exhale as you lift. We're gonna go for another four, three, that's it. Last two. My lips are getting smaller. <laughs> Last one, excellent. Quick little breather here. Now we're going to start with your left arm over your head this time. So from here, we're adding in a little arm sweep as you lift your legs up. So same leg movement, you're gonna sweep the arm down past the hip and simultaneously lifting those legs up Ooh. towards the roof here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it might be easier if you have your bottom arm lengthened out in front of you. And that way you can brace. Big breath in, exhale as you sweep down and lift those legs up, excellent. Inhale to return the arm over the head, exhale to sweep down and lift both legs up, excellent. So another option here, because this is quite advanced, another option from here is to keep your knees bent. <laughs> so if you bend your knees here, Laura, 
and then you're just lifting your top leg from here. So if you extend that top leg up and then back down, that will be your option here if you're finding it quite difficult to lift both legs up. How are you feeling, Laura? Do you want to keep your legs straight or do you want to keep your bottom? I think I might do this. Yeah. <laughs> Exhaling as you lift, inhaling as you lower the arm down. So we'll bring those legs. Yep, there we go. And then arm goes there, leg stays down. And exhale as you sweep the arm down and lift the leg up. There we go. Inhale as you return. Yep. Yeah. Exhale to sweep. Inhale to return. Excellent. So from here, we're focusing on that rib to hip connection here as well. So you're trying not to let your ribs flare out and away from the body. You're drawing the ribs down towards the hips. We're going to go for two. That's it. Last one, curl up and hold. We're tucking the knee in towards the chest here and then extending the leg on the way out That's straight with a little breath. Good, big breath in as you tuck the knee in, exhale as you extend. So I lace my hand. Inhale. Yeah, keep your hand down by your side. So you're reaching those fingertips down and we're holding that crunch in from the ribs and the hips here. So if you can, see if you can curl up that little bit higher with, with the upper body here. And we'll bring that knee in for three, set last two. And one, we'll turn that leg all the way out straight here and we'll relax. Ooh. Excellent. Well done. While we're on your side here as well, we're going to stack both knees on top of each other and we're going to draw your knees up to about a 45 degree angle from the hip. So you want to draw a nice 45 degree angle from the hip to the knee and then from the ankle there as well. Focusing on lifting your ribs up off the floor here, so you're trying not to sink into the ground. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. We're going to lift your heels up towards the roof and we're holding them there. Starting with your knees together here, Laura. Knees together, that's it. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna turn the top knee out towards the roof and then back down. So a big breath in, exhale, lift and lower. So we're going into what we call a level two clam. So this is where your heels are lifted. What that does, it helps to keep your glutes engaged a little bit longer. Now, what you want to make sure here is that you're not tilting your hips backwards. You always want to make sure that your top hip is slightly tilted down towards the ground, especially as you lift your knee up towards that highest point there. Excellent. Think about squeezing through your bottom first before you lift your legs together, uh, lift before you separate your knees apart. Excellent, guys. Now, we're going to layer this series here. So if you're starting to fatigue or if you're feeling any pelvic girdle pain here, please feel free to take your breaks. We're roughly holding for, again, another 45 seconds for each series here. How are you feeling here, Laura? I can feel Good. my glutes burning. Excellent. We're about to add on your next layer. So from your next lift here, I want you to pause. We're going to hold for two, one, and we want you to lower halfway this time. Lift back up and pause. Two, one, and then lower back down just to halfway. Lift back up, hold at the top. Two, one, and lowering back down just to halfway. Lifting back to the top there, pausing. Two, one, and lowering just to halfway. I'm going to keep repeating this sequence here. Just make sure that you're lifting your ribs up off the car off the floor, and your heels are lifted up nice and high. Excellent, guys. So glutes should be. Pretty much screaming yep. right now. Absolutely screaming. And again, make sure that you are taking your breaks if you do need so. Excellent. Pausing at the top for two, we're lowering just a halfway. We're gonna try and hold on for another five here. That is definitely my leg <laughs> shaking too. Two, one, last four. Two, one, three. Good, just watch that your hips aren't rotating back. Two, one, three. Up, two, one, two, last one here, lift and hold. This is where it's gonna get a little bit harder. We're oh. lifting the ankles oh. apart, extending the leg away. Now keep your knee lifted, we're just bringing the heels back together. Knees stay lifted, we're separating the ankles, extending that leg out. Keep the knee lifted, ankles return. Lift, kick, knees stay lifted here, just the ankles draw back in. So we're just holding that contraction there. Make sure that the trunk is lifted off the, off the mat here, guys. And we're focusing on turning that knee out and away from your opposite. So you're trying to keep your knee lifted up towards my hand here, Laura. That's it, lift out, that's it. Just the heels tap and then you're kicking. Draw in, I heels tap. here for 45 seconds, and right? And stand, yeah. Are you tired me? A few more seconds. Good, excellent, in, down, kick, 
That's it, knee stays lifted, heels return together. Kick, knee stays lifted, heels return. Kick, excellent. I reckon you've got four more left. That's it. Stand, tuck, keep that knee lifted. Three, we've got one more series to add on here. So if you can hold on, feel free to try. So if not, have your break one more. Kick, bring that heel back in. And then we're extending the leg out, toes go forward. You're dragging the heel all the way back past your backside and then kicking the feet forward. So it's like you're kicking a little soccer ball here, but we're focusing on keeping that pelvis nice and still. Okay, so we don't want to be rolling forward and back. Your hips stay stacked. We're still lifting the ribs up off the floor here. And we're still breathing. Exhaling to sweep back, inhaling to return. Good, Laura, how are those glutes feeling? They are honestly on fire. Almost there, we're gonna go for roughly about 20 more seconds here. Sweeping forward and back. Excellent. And 10 to go. 10 seconds that is, not 10 more, just 10 <laughs> seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Just gently bring the heels down and the knees together. Wow, and we'll just take a quick little breather here. Okay guys, so we're switching over to your other side. So just key setup points here, just making sure that the ribs are lifted off the mat. Your knees are at 45 degrees and we're lifting the heels up towards the roof and holding that there. We're starting by excellently rotating that hip out. So we're lifting the knees apart and then drawing back in. So we're going for 45 seconds here. Think about drawing into the tummy here. Ribs are traveling down towards the hips. And we're focusing on trying not to tilt the hips backwards. So you're focusing on keeping those hips slightly stacked, if not slightly pointing down. If you are feeling more through the front of the hip, working harder than your glutes here, feel free just to try and push your bottom back. So if, for example here, Laura, if you just lift your hips up and then rotate them back towards me, and then you'll slightly angle your top hip down towards the ground, and that should help to activate your glutes here a little bit more, rather than feeling it more through that front of the hip. And, and always consciously thinking about squeezing through your bottom first as you lift. So we're gonna go for another 20 seconds here. Excellent, lifting from the ribs here, nice and relaxed through the shoulders. Just squeezing through your bottom and then separating that top from top knee from the bottom. Excellent. Last three, two, and one. Now we're lifting that top knee up and pausing at the top for two seconds. We're lowering down halfway, back up to the top, pausing for through two seconds, and then back down. Now think about trying to keep those heels lifted as high as you can. I know your glutes are starting to burn here at this stage. Try and keep those heels lifted. Hips are slightly angled down towards the ground. We're going for another 45 seconds here. You're about halfway. Excellent. Lifting and holding at the top for two seconds. Lowering. Lifting and holding at the top for two seconds. Excellent. At the top here. Good. Excellent. How are you feeling here, Laura? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I think this side's a little bit more fatigued too from, from the <laughs> other, doing the other side. Last five seconds here, guys. So lift and hold at the top for two. We'll finish up on this last one here. Laura coming down halfway, lifting up here. So from here now, we're lifting the heel apart, kicking the leg out, drawing the knee back in towards, uh, we're tucking the knee back in, oh. and then the heels return back together. Okay. Keeping the knees separated. Heels lift, kick, keep the knee turned out away from the bottom, heels just tap, kick, draw back in, tap. Kick the heel away, draw the knee back in, and tap those heels back together. So really focus on trying to keep that knee lifted away from that bottom hip, knee, sorry, as much as you possibly can. Excellent, you're halfway here, guys. We've got 20 yeah. seconds to go. Think about lifting the ribs up nice and tall here, relaxing the shoulders if you need. Keep breathing and take your breaks as you need. Excellent. Last 10 seconds here, good. Lifting the knee up nice and high here. Last five, four, three, two. Try and hold this last one out here, Laura. We're sweeping the toes forward, dragging the heel back, forward and back. Now, key point here, try and lift your foot up as high as, uh, as, high as your hip here. So you're trying not to let your foot fall 
below the hip and I know your glutes are burning right now but try your best to lift the foot up as high as possible and again the pelvis wants to stay nice and still lifting the ribs up off the floor you're halfway here last 20 excellent guys you're almost there oh my goodness. <laughs> good poker face oh absolutely this is <laughs> last 10 here burn is real. excellent big squeeze through your backside as you sweep the heel back last five four three two and one. Oh my and goodness relax just gently oh. bring those knees back together Holy oh moly! Oh my gosh, that is so solid through my glutes. They are on fire. <gasps> okay, guys, so last exercise for the series here, we're moving into a bit of a lunge series. So um, just to put the option out there, if anyone does have any pelvic girdle pain here, your option is to stay in your squat position and then you can follow through with all the layers that we're adding on here. But otherwise, Laura, I'm gonna get you to start in your split stance position. Mm -hmm. We want a nice wide base of support here. We're starting with your lunges. We're lowering your back knee down towards the ground and then rising straight back up. So from here, what you want to think about doing is keeping the weight to the outside of your front heel, little toes in contact with the ground here, and your knee should be tracking over your second toe. Okay, so every now and then just look down and just make sure that that knee is tracking over your second toe. We're going for roughly about 10 to 12 repetitions here, focusing on keeping your chest up as proud as you possibly can, and your hips should be nice and level here. Good. So from here, you might already start to feel the glutes of the front leg working, yep. maybe the, far, the front of the far, the back foot here. We're going for one more here. On the end of your next one here, Laura, I'm going to get you to lunge down and hold. We're lifting the front heel off the ground, back down, and then you're rising back up. So lunging down towards the ground, lift and lower the front heel, lifting back up. So again, we're going for roughly about 10 to 12 here. Try and focus on keeping most of your weight through your front foot. Think of your back foot as balance support. Again, the pressure is going to the outside of that front heel. As you lunge down, then you're transferring the weight onto the balls of the, of the toes. Excellent. Good. Now here again, if you are choosing your squat option, it is a double leg calf raise, and then you'll rise back up. Okay, we've got another four to go here. How are you feeling there, Laura? Yeah, I can okay. feel this more in my quads this time. Quad, yeah, okay. <laughs> Is that where I should be feeling it? Definitely, your, your quads will definitely be doing a bit of work here, absolutely. Really focus on the outside, that heel planted as you lower down into your lunge. And then as you press back up here, the heel is planted. Excellent. Last one here, Laura. We're lunging down. We're lifting that heel up and keeping it there. We're pulsing here. So just staying in that bottom end range. Now here is where you should definitely feel the front of the thighs working. Now see if you can challenge yourself here. Come down as low as you can and you're rising up just an inch or two. Keeping the chest up nice and proud here, guys. I know you're burning. We're gonna try and go from six, five, four, Three, now stay low here, Laura. We're just gonna lift and lower that front heel. Lift and lower, stay low here, guys. Last, we're gonna go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently stand back up here. Excellent, guys, oh well done. Shake your legs out so you could to definitely oh work towards the end yes. there. Excellent. Make sure you're changing legs over, nice wide base to support, chest up nice and proud, and we're lunging straight down to the ground. So for this first series here, we're focusing on the heels staying nice and firm on the floor, little toe nice and firm as well, and the inside part of your knee should be tracking over your second toe. Okay, back knee is traveling down towards the ground, and then you're pushing through the front heel to rise back up. Good, nice proud chest. Excellent, Laura. How are you feeling here? You're okay? Yeah, yep. this is um, the worst part about this is you know what pain you've got to look for. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you're already Almost a little bit fatigued <laughs> from the other side. That's right, yes. Now we've got four left here. Three. On the end of your next one here, Laura, we're going to 
stay low on the next lunge. We're lifting the front heel off the ground, back down, rising back up. Lunging down, lifting the heel up, down, and then back up. Excellent. So really think about driving through that front heel here as you're standing back from that lunge. Your chest should stay nice and tall. Think about drawing into the tummy. So again, here, if you're choosing that squat option here, it's just a double leg lift and then rising back up. Excellent. Excellent, we've got three left. Heel in contact with the ground as you lower and then heel back down as you come back up. We've got two more. On the end of this next one here, we'll keep that heel lifted while pulsing down the bottom here. Excellent, guys. Almost here, we've got one more layer to add on. Good, try and stay as low as you can. Stay on the balls of both feet this time. Heels should be lifted as high as possible. We've got four, three, to stay here, we're lifting and lowering that front heel continuously. Come down as low as you can here, guys. It's your last one. <laughs> See, this is last. <laughs> last oh six here. Look at the oh. front leg shape. <laughs> last three, two, one, and gently stepping oh up and together. Well, the burn was real, thank you, T. If you're feeling your quads and your glutes like me, they're a little bit jelly, and tomorrow morning, I guarantee you, when you wake up, you'll be even sore. That's always a good sign of a good workout. So thank you for joining us for our first trimester pregnancy workout. The exciting news is we've got a second trimester one coming your way very soon.